welcome back, uh, or hello, my name's Sam, um, welcome to my channel, I do mostly tea content with a little bit of home. Today we are going to do a taste and review of the Blue Tea Box. This is a monthly subscription box that you get three bags of 45 grams worth of tea, and um, I've just steeped up all three of the teas that I got this month, so I'm going to turn you around and show you what we've got. So our first tea is this white tea, which is a really nice yellowy colour. The second is our whiskey black tea, which I am very much looking forward to trying, and that's a nice deep brown colour. And then our final is, is just a Kenyan black tea, and again it's a deep brown colour, but not as deep as our first one. As normal, while they're cooling down, I'll give them a sniff and tell you what my first impressions are. So our first one is the white tea. And I was very surprised to read that it suggested to steep this at 100 degrees. But, as per instruction, that is what I did. I have steeped it as 100 degrees. We'll see how the taste affects it. The ingredients just say that it's a luxury white tea. And it does just smell like a white tea leaf. I um, I don't tend to drink that much white tea, it's not the first thing that I gravitate towards, so I'll be really curious to see um, how I like this one. Our second is the Tomatin Barrel Aged Whiskey Tea, which with the word whiskey in there, I'm really hoping it's got kind of like a smoky Lapsang type of taste. It's not a Lapsang, it's Assam Black Tea, Sri Lankan Serlang Tea, Chinese White Tea, and bergamot flavour with corn flour. So with the bergamot, I'm wondering if it's gonna have more of like an Earl Grey taste, which Earl Grey isn't my favourite, but with the whiskey tea, maybe... It does have a smoky smell, but it also has um, quite a floral smell. I think that's the corn flowers. Doesn't smell like a standard uh, Earl Grey. It doesn't say it's an Earl Grey, that's just a comparison that I made. You can see the blue corn flowers in there, which is an ingredient they quite commonly use in an Earl Grey. So again, I'm quite curious to see how my taste buds like this one. It doesn't smell floral in the cup, it smells quite, it has more of the smoky smells. Hmm. Actually smells really good. And then our final one, which if you saw the unboxing, I called Chan, um, Chandler's Tears is actually Chandler Teas. And this is just a black tea from Kenya. And it smells like a black tea. It actually... I don't want anyone to take this the wrong way. It kind of smells like... like straw. Like if you go into a pet store and it has that overwhelming smell of straw like the rabbits use. It kind of has a strawy smell. I do smell the tea, but it's not, it doesn't, I don't sniff it and it goes, ooh, tea. I sniff it and I go, hmm, straw, oh no, that's tea. We'll see how they all taste. But it doesn't, again, from the cup, it doesn't smell first and foremost of tea, but it doesn't smell straw. God, it smells like breakfast. Not a breakfast tea, just breakfast. I'm kind of getting like cereal vibes. I... So all three of these teas have kind of thrown me through a loop a bit. They were all steeped at 100 degrees for four minutes. Um, our white tea said three to five. Our whiskey tea was three to four. And our Kenyan black tea was three to five. So I just did all of them four degrees. It was actually the easiest subscription box tasting I've ever had to prepare. Usually I've got several timers going on, I have to do different degrees and it's a kerfuffle. This is really simple. The white tea doesn't really have much of a smell to it. It's just, it really doesn't have much fragrance. But they are all still a little bit too hot for me to try it, so I'm gonna sit back, relax, and I'll catch up with you in a sec. All right, well, hopefully these are all now at a temperature that my wimpy little taste buds can handle. So I'm gonna try the white tea first. We're gonna do them in the order that we sniff them. Oh, mm. 
if you watch my videos <laughs> often, you're probably getting used to my smells. Oh, it seems to be a comment um, sound I make, but this is really nice. It's not too delicate. It is quite delicate, but it's not little fingers up. It's delicate, but full bodied. That makes no sense, <laughs> but it's delicate, but I'm getting like a whole mouth feel. It's probably a better way to put it. It tastes almost kind of fruity. It's kind of like, it's got the crispness of an apple, I would say. This is really nice. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna be quite happy to finish the rest of that cup. Our second tea is the whiskey tea. It's called Etiquette. Etiquette? We'll just try it. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Again, I'm getting like the smallest hit of the cornflowers. I can taste it, it's definitely there. But as in the background, I am getting the smoky kind of whiskey taste and it, this is delightful. Mm. And I think Ben's gonna really like that one. That's kind of like a matured man drinking his tea kind of. No milk, just straight black tea. I know what I like. No, whiskey. Mm, I like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and our next one is Chantler's tea. Keep wanting to say tears. Chantler's teas. And this is the black tea from Kenya. Sorry, I'm looking down to see which one's which. And it kind of tastes like breakfast. I have no idea why, but this tastes like a, if you crossed a cup of tea with a bowl of cereal, this is what I'm getting. So I have really enjoyed all three of these teas. I wasn't expecting to. Um, I don't know, I was expecting to like them. I wasn't expecting to really enjoy them and want to purchase them again if I had less tea already. It's more aimed at a good quality leaf rather than blends as such. I always use this as an example, but Bird and Blend, for example, they are more aimed at blending teas, getting lots of different flavors out there, lots of different taste buds, and it sparks curiosity when you when you say something like, love potion, it's a Valentine's tea, what is there? What ingredients are there with, is with this? These are just a, as it says, luxury white tea. Now, if I was shopping for a tea and I just thought luxury white tea, it's not something I'd go, ooh, luxury white tea. It's something I'd go, okay, it's a white tea. Why does that spark my interest? Whereas it's actually a very nice white tea. The second one, the whiskey tea, does have more of that interest because it's got the tomatin barrel aged whiskey tea. It has something in the name that sparks an interest. The next one is just a black tea from Kenya, but it's really nice. It's a good quality leaf. So I would actually recommend this box if you are looking for good quality leaves. Um, I have liked all three of these and I'm not sure that, actually I know for certain I have not yet received a box where I would repurchase every single one of the teas. So I think that says something. If maybe you hadn't heard of Blue Tea Box before and this is something new and you've now sparked a curiosity, I'm happy I could have done that for you. <laughs> Would recommend. This, these are all very good teas and they are ones that I will reach for if I just fancy a cup of tea. I would now consider purchasing these again over repurchasing my Yorkshire tea bags. And that's saying something because I love my Yorkshire tea bags. I am very impressed with this. I am very happy that I have come across them and I hope that your day is going as well as mine. All right, I hope to catch you in the next video. If you liked this, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. I'd love to reach 100 subscribers and I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye. Just a little insider into my life. You can tell when I really like a tea or like a tea brand by where they're positioned. So. Most of my subscription boxes get put into some of these baskets. Bird and Blend does have its own place, but I have also purchased extra tea from them. And there we go. Blue Tea Box, they have their own place on the shelf.
if that's not a sign as a recommendation to you, I don't know what is. <laughs>